To continue our interview with Elvis. Elvis. Well, frankly, I'm honored that you consented to appear on my radio show, but why did you choose me? Well, I said, give us high class. Well, gee, thanks for the compliment. Elvis, I understand wherever you appear, the crowds simply mob you, and yet you never seem to lose your presence or temper. Doesn't anything bother you? Well, you can do anything but take me over my blue suede shoes. They tell me at your last appearance you were driving a real cool car. What kind is it? Of a Pete Cadillac. And what did your fans try to do to you? Steal my car. Everybody says that you're really making a lot of money. How much would you say you're making a month? I like this. Who keeps the gold? Well, couldn't you give me some idea about how much you earn? A hundred thousand. What do you say when you receive so much money? You know, with the busy schedule you have, do you have any time at all for romance? I get my loving in the evening time. Elvis, we promised the local president of the Elvis fan club that she could meet you in person. She's here with us now, and isn't she a doll? She wanted me to ask you if you'd give her a kiss. That's all right. Well, I won't look, so go ahead. Elvis! What happened when you kissed her? She laughed, she cried. How did you feel? Do you have any comments on that kiss? We're gonna kiss some more. Anything else? Baby, I want to put out of you. I see it's just about time to go. Is there anything that you'd like to say in closing to the youth of America? Don't be cruel. Too hard, it's true.